This is the first time I've ever been a part of something like this. Other states are looking at what we're doing and they're interested in what we're doing. Texas is a big state. When we do something, it's big. So many women in Texas are wanting and choosing to breastfeed, but they're not successful in meeting their own goals. It's just important as a healthcare system to be able to provide what moms need. And I think that we're getting there, but we have a long way to go. Hospitals are making change. They're making big changes in Texas and um, every hospital should want to be a part of this. It's an opportunity that may not come around again in Texas. We're really fortunate to have this partnership at this time and with this funding to do this through our state. It's an opportunity that they shouldn't pass up. How often in healthcare does someone offer to provide support to help you achieve what is going to help you improve your outcomes free of charge? Each hospital has its own barriers. Some hospitals have figured out a way around the barriers that another hospital is still struggling with, and that is the beauty of this collaborative. Hospitals will receive significant support as a part of being in this collaborative. They'll meet face-to-face -face with other teams. They'll get to exchange ideas, share their successes and celebrate their successes, identify new opportunities to make small improvements and move on to larger improvements. You're getting a lot of great ideas from other hospitals. You're sharing, um, you're learning together, you're, you're, you're getting tips for how to do things better. When you come here, you have a huge number of like-minded individuals that are trying to overcome those same obstacles. All those other people's experiences to learn from and share um, and borrow makes it such an easier situation and it really lightens the load. You can work on skin to skin, rooming in, taking away pacifiers, those, uh, maybe even eliminating a nursery and having rounds done in the patient room on a small scale first and it made it less overwhelming. So the quality improvement that the Learning Collaborative provides is small scale, but it's something that can make sweeping change. Change is always a difficult thing. We realize that uh, change is important because we're not doing everything the best that we can do. I believe that the Learning Collaborative is making a difference because it's bringing people together you know, from different facets of the healthcare network. I would, I would advise people if they're on the fence about doing it, join in and, and, and become a part of the Learning Collaborative. I think the Texas 10-step niche key program has helped set specific goals. I really have seen how it's helping and it's helping change behavior in our nurses and our staff. And that is the exciting part. It's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to share and it's a real opportunity to, to see the change that they may have been waiting for. I would recommend anyone join the collaborative. Uh, it's a lot easier to do it together than it is to do it alone. It doesn't matter where they are on their decision to implement the evidence-based baby-friendly practices. There is something that can be learned on how to make it easier, how to do it better, and ultimately how to help mothers achieve their own personal breastfeeding goals. I would definitely recommend that other birthing facilities in the state join the collaborative. If I were you, I would apply today. Apply today. Apply today. Apply today. Apply today. Apply today.